Hi guys, welcome back to you, me and the family. I hope you are all doing really, really well and enjoying the weekend. Um, yesterday, Nathan was at nursery and I had a friend round and she's such a bad influence on me. Um, she said, let's go for a moochie around home bargains while he was at nursery so we could enjoy a nice little look around without it being too chaotic and me running around after night. So we did, and I ended up spending money that we didn't need to. Same as I ended up going into Aldi and spending money in there we didn't need to. So this is a, I'd say, impulse buying. Impulse buying plus going out when you're hungry shouldn't really do. But I thought I would lay it out on the counter, show you what I wasted my money on yesterday. Um, it is Saturday here, so... Um, we do have all the kids and Steve around, so chances are you'll hear family members coming in and out and all that lot. But at the moment, Nathan is just about to go in the bath because he's got a very sore bum. Um, so we're going to let him play in the bath to try and ease that a little bit. So I thought I'd get this done and um, recorded for you. So um, I can't tell you exactly how much I spent in Aldi because I can't find the receipt. If I can find the receipt by the time it comes to uploading this video, then I'll put the prices on the screen for you. If I don't, then I'm very, very sorry. But the home bargain stuff, I spent... If I can find my receipt again, there we go. I ended up spending £61 in there. £61.96. And I do have the receipt for that. So if there's any items you want to know the price of that I can't tell you, just drop a message down below and I'll tell you the price. So, Nathan wants to come in. Bear me one sec. Sorry about that. Nathan wanted to take one of his um, Paw Patrol boats in the, in the bath. And um, Daddy said no, but then Nathan didn't like the word no, so he had a bit of a screaming fit. But he's fine now, he's in the bath, he's happy. Let's get on and show you what I bought in Aldi. So we'll start at the back. So Shane, can you just turn the um, under counter lights on please? There we go, a bit more light. Thank you Shane. Um, at the back we have tiles, salt and vinegar. I'm presuming these are just like squares, which you do, that like I love, salt and vinegar squares. You get a six pack they are um they say they're new i'm pretty sure they were like 125 i don't think they were very expensive they only had this flavor and cheese and onion so no problem there we both all of us like those flavors um curls which are like quavers and they had barbecue flavor again all my family like cheese curls or curlers or quavers so um, I got the barbecue flavour of ones of them to see if they like them. And then I usually buy the Waves in sweet chilli for Steve and Chloe. But they've got a new flavour out and it's honey glazed barbecue flavour. Um, again, you get six in a pack. So we've got them to um, spice up their lunches a little bit. See how they get on. Down here, some new products. We've got the Power Force. Um, antibacterial surface wipes pomegranate and lime and then the apple and peach absolutely gorgeous when expensive they were under a pound a pack and then here we have the grapefruit and mandarin mandarin floor wipes um, I just put one of these on the floor and then put my um, speed mop on there rather than buying the proper branded speed mop wipes uh, you get how many in here 15, 15 wipes in there for under a pound. And then here you get, does it say how many you get? 80 wipes for under a pound there. So they're really worth it and they do smell absolutely gorgeous. In their Easter range, they got these popping choc, chocolate, to, oh, it's popcorn with chocolate. And this one has mini eggs in. And then this one has well let's read the back and it'll tell us there weren't it um milk chocolate coated toffee popcorn 
slab with caramel and chocolate brownie fudge pieces and chocolate curls so yummy yummy and let's just read that one and just double check that i got that one right white chocolate coated toffee popcorn slab with sugar coated milk chocolate mini eggs and colored sugar sprinkles yummy yummy a nice little treat 2.99 a, a box a slab quite expensive but nice little treat so i don't mind um, in the special aisles, they've got this like rod thing, it expands. Um, it was $5.99, I think it was. And I got it to clean the, the tiles in the bathroom. So I can reach up high because we've got a wet room and high tiles in the main bathroom. It's a sponge, but it's um, quite a hardy sponge as well. So you can get all the um, soap scum that the kids throw up there as well on there. Like I said, it does expand which is good and they did have um another one part of that range which was a squeegee and on the other side of the squeegee was um like a window washing sponge as well but i didn't need that i just needed this um on the end of the aisle they had some new seasoning packets um honey and chorizo flavored chili i thought that would appeal to my family so i picked up two of them and then this one i definitely knew would appeal to the family pulled chicken tacos so i got four of them two of them they did have um two other flavors but i knew the family wouldn't like them so i didn't get them they were 99p each some teddy bear crumpets for nathan they were 30 percent off i thought i'd try him with these at the moment he is purely eating round crumpets i bought the heart ones at valentine's and then um Christmas tree ones at Christmas from Asda. Didn't like them. Wouldn't try them. I think he was just a bit rigid. Crumpets have to be round. But we'll see if the um, teddy bear shape entices him in. Uh, fluff. This is my weak spot. Yes, I know this is um, pure sugar. Not good for you whatsoever. But when you've had a stressful day of property falling apart, Kids pushing you to the limit, sometimes you just need a spoonful of fluff, which is marshmallow really. So um, that's how that's my pick-me-up. It goes in the cupboard and then when I need it, I just have a tablespoon and suck on it while I cook dinner or just recover from the day. Um, I got the normal and then they had the strawberry as well. That was in the middle aisle. Um, I've shown you the crisps. At the back, um, the Harvest Morn Fruit and Grain Cereal Bars for Steve and Shane. Got the blueberry, the strawberry and the apple. That is for their pet lunches. Some barbecue coated peanuts for Steve and myself in bed later. They sounded yummy. Chocolate filled crepes, six there. They were down to £1.19. Um, Iceland is still cheaper, but I'm not planning on going to Iceland. So I just picked up Shane uh, Nathan one packet there. And then I bought these a couple of weeks back. We got the dried pineapple and then the lime infused mango. They are gorgeous. Very, very lovely, but very, very addictive as well. I warn you, you have to have some willpower not to eat the whole packet in one go. Um, it's not a very big bag. It's 85 grams, but it's a couple of portions. It's like two servings, but um, yeah, it was one serving for me. I couldn't put it down. I just kept eating it and eating it. So I've picked up two more of the pineapple and then two more of the lime infused mango. So that will last me hopefully a week, week and a half maybe, you know, fingers crossed. But um, that was all I got from Aldi. Nothing really exciting. And then home bargains, the usual strawberry and kiwi water for the kids pack lunches four of them they didn't have any of the apple and raspberry but i'm pretty sure i've still got one crate of four in the shed for chloe so she can have that uh, we've got some weed out extra tough um weed killer four little sachets in here that is to get rid of the grass and the weeds that are coming up through the gravel and weed suppressant in the garden so i needed them some dried mealworms for my birdies and the birdie table 
Um, someone commented um, about, because I said that I like to feed the birds and everything, um, but they all know that I have cats as well. My cats are indoor cats. They don't go out in the garden. So the birds are at no risk of harm from my cats. So encouraging them into encouraging the birds into my garden isn't a problem for me with my cats. So don't worry there. Um, dried mealworms. But saying that, since I've put the bird table out there, the only birds I've attracted are magpies and two big fat pigeons. I mean, I used to see lovely birds, songbirds around, but the moment I put that bird table out there, they've disappeared. So I'm hoping to encourage them back. Um, mealworms, some fat balls. There was 12 there and they weren't very expensive whatsoever either. And then we've got some wild bird seed, which is a complimentary wild bird feed with high energy boost. It attracts a wide range of birds, including tits, robins, and wrens. Wrens. Well, I've seen robins and I've seen tits. <laughs> the bird. Um, so hopefully they'll come back. That's them. I just heard Shane sniggering in the background there. A couple of more of mason jars because I've been storing dried goods in these. They are great for food storage as well, like in my pantry. Two more there, not very expensive, I think they're like £1.30 for the large, £1.00 for the half pint and all that lot. So there's them. Um, we have the Lemon Shake and Vac Carpet Freshener. I only have a little bit of carpet in the house, so I've only picked one of them up. And, um, oh my god, this smells gorgeous. Lemon. Love the fragrance lemon. Um, and I think that was under a pound as well. I got some more of the Lawn Feed weed and moss killer granules because again the back garden is covered in moss the last lot of moss killer i used has worked but there was only enough to do a certain patch of the garden so this should hopefully do some more of that got the bit that we didn't get around to doing with the other lawn and moss killer stuff um here we have three plant pots they um i don't know if you'll be able to see them very well they're like black barrel effect I've got two huge ones of these that I got last year. They were $5.99 and I'm going to plant them up with loads of spring bulbs and put one out front and one out back. And then I've picked up three here. So again, I can put one of these out back and one out front to complement them as well with spring bulbs to make it look really nice out there. And then I've got another one small one that I'm going to start putting herbs in so that the herbs start springing into action so that I can use them for cooking. The small ones are only 2 99 so they're not they're quite reasonably priced. Flim not flimsy, but they'll do. They'll do the job for me, so that's good. Some more Detol Homes with Pets disinfectant spray. Two of them. Black sacks, because we have completely depleted my black stash, black bag stash, so that is what we needed. And then we've got two of these four litres spray and leave powerful outdoor formula. This gets rid of algae and all green slime and all that grows when it gets really, really wet. And obviously outside our house, front and back, it's continuously wet. We have a lot of problems with drainage around here. And the fences are covered in algae, the driveway is. And obviously algae and moss gets very slippery when it's wet. With this, all you do is spray it when it's dry outside and you leave it as long as you can. You don't have to do nothing to it. But the more it rains, it kills the algae and moss and gets it all gone. So the green stuff disappears like magic. Um, we got some of this in the old house to spray the fence and we didn't think much of it. But later that day, once we had sprayed it, it had six hours of dryness to sink in and then it rained and then by magic it just disappeared. The green horribleness and re revealed beautiful painted fence. So we're kind of hoping that will happen here. Um, $6.99 the bottles. There are other brands around like this. It's like Wet and Forget and stuff like that. But we just got the Spear and Jackson's one to give that a go. And it comes with its own little spray thing as well. But we'll just put that in our gardening spray tanks that we've got out back. 
So um, that is everything we got, or well, I got. Nothing exciting. Was completely unplanned. But like I said, my, my friend was a bad influence. So um, never go shopping when you're hungry. Because otherwise you pick up food that you don't need. But um, please give this video a thumbs if you like it. Um, I'm getting close to my 3,000 subscribers. That is my goal for the 13th of March. That is my birthday, the 13th of March. And for my birthday wish, I would love to get to 3,000 subscribers. So, if you have seen this video and you like what I do, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a single thing, but it helps my channel out tremendously. And, you know, you never know. You might see some um, new items in my videos and stuff and want to go try them as well. So, I'm going to get this lot put away. Take care, guys, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.